Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're gonna learn how to play Crash Into Me as recorded by Dave Matthews Band on guitar. Now this is an incredible song and the players in the Dave Matthews Band are some incredible musicians. So this is gonna be fun to go through. I'm gonna show you that main acoustic guitar part that goes through the whole song. Now it's primarily based around just one repeating chord progression, but there are a couple variations as you go through the tune. I'm gonna break it all down for you step by step, but before we jump in, if you're new here and haven't downloaded my fretboard guide, I put together this awesome PDF that's gonna show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below and you can grab your copy. All right, well with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Crash Into Me as recorded by Dave Matthews on guitar. Now there's about four sections to this tune. But really the majority of the song is just this one main progression. It's four bars long, and we'll start off with that part. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, so we're moving through some chord changes here. We're gonna start out on a C sharp minor seven chord. We're gonna play that chord from the fifth string down like this, four, two, four, then open, open. Now, for a lot of these chords, we're gonna be leaving these two notes down here, the note the notes on the fourth string and on the third string. So we'll start out with this C sharp minor seven, but then we're gonna lift off that ring finger and like I said, leave those two notes there, but play an open A string in the bass now. This is an A sus two, so we go. Then we're gonna put a B in the bass by just bringing that index finger up doing a little bar there, two, two, four, open, open, uh, open, open. That's E5 over B. And then we'll add that E note in the bass, the low E, and that just makes it an E5. So we've got. Now when I play that E5, I actually just get rid of the B note and I just bring this back down. Then we put a G sharp in the bass, which looks like the very first chord, but we've just lifted this finger up to the sixth string. That's E over G sharp. Then A sus two. Then we do that same progression again, E five over B to E. So it's. Okay, that's our progression. Now, there's two chords per bar. Now, strumming wise, you can start off by hitting this bass note, and then you can strum the rest of the chord. One E and a, two E and a. So it's gonna go bass, down, down, up. Then we're gonna switch to the A sus two. Then up to the E5 over B. We just repeat that through the changes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... Now sometimes I go, and I do like a double bass, so instead of just, I'll go one and two E and a three E and a four and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four and a... Okay, so that's our main progression. That's the majority of the tune. That goes over and over, and then we get to this little hook where Dave sings Crash Into Me, and that goes like this. Three, four. And 
and we're back to that main progression. So what happens here is you play C sharp minor seven, one, two, and then, and then we do this little bass line down to an E chord. So that's four, five, seven on the low E string. Then we hit just a good old E, open, two, two, one, open, open. So one, two, and a three, and four, E, and a one, E, and a two. So some syncopation there. It comes in on the and a three. Three, and four, E, and a one, E, and a two. Three, and four, E, and a one, E, and a two. Three, four, then one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so what happens here is we go to a D over F sharp chord. That's like a D chord, but with the thumb on the second fret here. We're gonna let that ring for six counts. What it is is a bar of four, four, and then a bar of two, four. So you go like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, main progression. Can we do that twice? Then Dave sings in a boy's dream. In a boy's dream. Okay, then we have this little interlude section here. When he sings in a boy's dream, he just stays on the C sharp minor seven, that first chord, for two bars. One, two, three. Four, two, two, three, four, then to A sus two. Then we do our, our progression like normal, so. But the rhythm changes just slightly. Here I'm going one and two, E and a three, and four, E and a one. So it alternates. The first chord there, the A is on the beat, then the next one is pushed. Then the next one's on the beat, then the next one's pushed. So that sounds like this. Then one, two, one. Then we have a two, four bar off that E, one, two, then back to the verse. Then we go back, we do everything again. Do the hook. Crash into me. Okay, then the second time we we come out of that, we go. We just do one of these after the second chorus there. And then we go in a boy's dream. Stay here in a boy's dream. Okay, then we go back to the main progression and we, and we fade out on that, but there is one final variation at about four minutes. We're looping that main progression, we're going. When we get to the end, we go back and we play just the last part of it. So this is how it ends. It goes, starts on the E over G sharp. And it just repeats that. And Dave is singing those really high notes, crash into me. Just fades out on that two bar progression. Congrats on making it through this classic Dave Matthews tune. It's so much fun to play. Take your time with those chord changes though. Those are some kind of unique shapes here with open strings, but they sound beautiful in this sort of acoustic singer-songwriter style. So you might be able to steal those chord progressions or just those shapes and use them in your own music or in other songs as well. Now before you go, make sure to download my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. 
below. And this is really going to help you connect more of the dots on the fretboard. And it's just going to show you the five must-know chords and scales that I use to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide. Or you can use the first link down below. And before you go, leave a comment and let me know your number one struggle with guitar right now. What would you like to overcome? And I could take that and make some future videos here on the channel, just getting your feedback and helping you just move to the next level with your guitar playing. Just comment down below. Thanks for your support with the videos, and we'll see you in another one real soon. Mm -hmm.